The price to earnings PE ratio is a method used by analysts to determine the market value of a company's stocks relative to its earnings. A lower PE ratio is often perceived as a positive attribute, suggesting that a stock might be undervalued. However, stocks with low PE ratios are not always the best option. A lower PE may indicate that the market anticipates less future growth, thereby reducing the ratio. This could potentially lead to lower profit margins, making the stock less attractive. In order to assess whether a low PE stock is a bargain or a trap, investors need to understand why the PE is low. Sometimes a low PE may be due to certain industry-specific risks, which can lead to lower profit margins or revenue declines. Simultaneously, a stock with a low PE might also mean the company is going through temporary problems, which can be resolved in the near future. If this is the case, investing in such companies could provide high returns once the problems are solved and the company returns to its normal operations. It's crucial for investors to study the business models of these companies to determine if the low PE is justifiable. This involves a detailed study of the company's financial statements, earning reports and their future business projections. One possible strategy to avoid the pitfalls of low PE investing involves diversifying the portfolio with a mix of low and high PE stocks. Sometimes a high P.E. ratio might indicate that a stock is overvalued. However, it might also suggest that the company has strong future growth prospects. Another approach is value investing, a strategy familiar to famous investor Warren Buffett. This involves buying stocks at less than their intrinsic value. But to succeed in this, investors must have a precise understanding of a company's value and not merely rely on ratios. Analysts suggest that investors should not just look at the P.E. ratio, but also pay attention to other valuation metrics like price to sales, PS, price to book, PB, and dividend yield. This multidimensional approach helps in making a pragmatic assessment of the stock value. Lastly, the market sentiment and economic conditions also play a substantial role in evaluating a stock. During times of uncertainty, low PE stocks could potentially underperform. Therefore, one must adopt a comprehensive macro and micro level view to make informed investment decisions. In summary, while low PE stocks can indeed be attractive, they could also trap unsuspecting investors. Comprehensive research, understanding of the market, and a holistic approach towards stock evaluation could help investors evade possible pitfalls and maximize their returns.